All right, everybody. So finally, at long last, I'm going to do my uh, Bunker's Anabolic uh, French Toast, Espresso French Toast. I'll give you a lot of different options of different things you might want to do that you could do different if you want to. I don't care how you do it. I'm just going to show you how I do it. Try to explain things as I go along. I'm not, I don't want to do a bunch of editing. So um, I'm going to try to do this in like three cuts. <laughs> So I'm going to go through the ingredients first, and then uh, I'll kind of talk you into uh, through some of the other stuff. All right. Our main ingredient is eggs. I've got three uh, egg whites. Some of you might be using egg whites from the store. If you do, you want about 95 grams of egg whites. You can go up to, yeah, you put however many you want in there. Uh, what I'm trying to do is make it for four pieces of bread. Uh, if you want to eat six or eight pieces of bread, just add more egg whites, you know, however many you want to do. It's up to you. This is the bread I use. Uh, Nature's Own, 40 calorie per slice. I know, and I really like uh, Greg Doucette, and he says just use regular ass bread. Uh, I disagree completely, and I don't know why this is the one area where he's like just throwing it to the wind. Uh, regular bread has 100 uh, calories per slice. So that means you're adding 60 uh, calories for four pieces of bread, 240 extra calories that you don't need. And this tastes just like regular bread. I can't tell the difference. So I get the 40 calorie uh, bread. You get whatever you want. Um, next ingredient, we two screw two scoops of protein powder of your choice. Uh, yeah, two scoops is like what. Uh, what it is, but what I do is I actually look on the container. It says there's 35 grams per scoop and I weigh it out because sometimes you get a scoop, it's packed down and there's a ton of it in there. And then sometimes you get a scoop and there's a lot of air in there. You want to do it by weight and not by volume. My next ingredient, which you don't necessarily need is I have some espresso. What I use is this, uh, I got a couple of different ones I use, but this one is Via Roma. Uh, instant espresso. You don't have to put espresso in it if you don't want to. Basically, what we need is four ounces of liquid. I'm going to use a little bit of espresso, maybe an ounce or two, and then the rest of it's going to be milk. For milk, what I use is powdered milk for two reasons. I don't have electricity, which means I don't have a refrigerator, uh, but also because it doesn't have any fat and it's a lot lower in calories. You can use almond milk. You can use Cashew milk, you can use regular milk if you want to, low-fat milk, whatever you want to do. This is what I do because I can make it right when I need it. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. All right, next agreement, uh, ingredient, also not necessary. You can use any uh, sweetener that you want to, preferably not sugar. I'm going to use stevia, and I'm going to use 10 packets of it because I like it sweeter. If you don't care about it, if you like your French toast, toast a little bit more savory, then uh, just don't put it in there. You don't have to put it in there at all if you don't want to. I put it in there because I like it to be really sweet. I want to be, when this thing's over, I want to be completely full that I don't want anything to eat probably for the rest of the day or at least uh, four or five hours. But I also want to uh, get rid of any cravings that I have to come up here and eat something sweet. So that's what I do. So uh, my dry ingredients, I've got my um, my stevia, I've got my uh, powder, protein powder. Oh, one other thing you need is a capful or so of um, vanilla extract. I use one uh, uh, capful. So what I do is I put all my wet ingredients in this shaker cup. I don't have a blender. I don't have electricity. So I shake it up really, 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 really good. Then I put in my protein powder and I put in my um, stevia. Shake that up really, 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 really good. Then I pour it in a bowl. Then you just make French toast. You just put your toast in there. I'll show you that part. We'll soak it, get it soaked up really good and fried up. All right, so I got all my ingredients in here. Remember, in addition to your eggs, your other liquid ingredients, it's whatever you want it to be. It can be water. I use two ounces of milk, two ounces of espresso. That's what's going to give it a brown color. These aren't going to be your uh, little uh, white uh, French toast because I add the espresso. If you don't want the espresso, don't put it in there. There's no calories. It's just flavor. All right. So I've got everything added and I'm just going to shake it for a good long while. It's going to be a good workout. And then uh, I'm going to pour it in my bowl and then we'll get going.
my fire on you know medium to low i don't want it too hot because if i do it too hot they're going to cook too fast they're going to burn i don't want them burn i'm going to use this kamal just a tortilla cooker and then uh we're going to get going on the uh making the french toast it's pretty thick which is the way i like it i try to work it out to where it's going to be about four pieces of bread but sometimes it may be five in which case i just eat it just an extra 40 calories from one more piece of bread. Get it good and soaked. Let it soak in there for a minute. Got my pan good and hot. Got it with one little quick spray of uh, cooking spray. I do two at a time. Put some butter on here, real butter. And I put one pat between each one of them, so four pats of butter. Uh, one pat of butter is like a quarter of an inch by whatever the square is. It doesn't add that many calories. It adds some good fats, and I love it. Uh, the other thing and the magic of all, all this is uh, you can use Walden Farms pancake syrup, which is zero calories. It's got a calorie or two in it. Put as much of it as you want on there. If you can't get Walden Farms, just get you a... Uh, no sugar pancake syrup. There's a lot of them. They may have five or 10 calories. Put as much of it as you want on there. And then I'll give you the uh, protein, the macros after I eat this. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. You cannot get better than this. It will absolutely fill you up completely. Look at all that. Mm. Mm. Remember, you don't have to add the espresso. You don't have to do anything. You can just do more milk. You can do just water. I like the little bit of the espresso taste. Doesn't cost anything. There's no, uh, no calories. Oh, you want to get plenty of this syrup. Oh, man. I'm kicking back because I am full. I just ate that whole thing. Here's the uh, macros for this thing. Um, let me look over here. All right. So if you put the butter on it, four pats of butter, delicious, 794 calories, 83.6 carbs, which I don't care about. And I don't count 20, 22.2 grams of fat, which I don't care about. And I don't count 69.8 grams of protein in that meal. If you don't do the butter, get about the same protein, 69.6 knock off about 140 calories put the butter on it the whole point is for just under 800 calories you're going to eat and you're going to be full you're going to be satiated you're not going to have a sugar craving you're not going to get a bounce back where you have a have a uh, savory craving or anything like that you're going to be full for 800 calories i could eat almost four of those plates full a day Three for sure under my uh, current maintenance calories, plus the fact that I'm working out, plus the fact that I'm walking. You can definitely eat one. Make it one of your meals. Try it out. See what you uh, think. Let me know. Um, my Instagram is at Michael Bunker. If you make it, take a picture, post it on Instagram. Let me see what you got or post it on Facebook. You can always find me on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash off grid. That's me. All right, y'all, if you appreciate the video, if you like the recipe, uh, give me a like and a thumbs up and a whatever else and a subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll do some more recipes coming up.